All right, so now that we have already covered the basics of React Portal and how we can render a portal in the DOM, we can go ahead and clean up some issues that we were seeing in the last video. And I'm referring to all these extra div uh, nodes that are being appended to my body. So I can go ahead and check if uh, the DOM node already exists in uh, the body. And if it does, then I will only strictly use whatever I have in the DOM and not create a new element and append it. So I can go ahead and search for it in the DOM by document.querySelector. Um, I have to assign some ID for me to refer that particular DOM unit. So I'm gonna go ahead and define a variable for the ID. Um, we are going to call it WTJS tooltip and I will search for it inside my DOM. So I'll see if there's any DOM, DOM node with the ID WTJS tooltip. And if there is, I can, uh, I don't need to create a new unit. Uh, I don't need to create a new DOM element. I can just use that. And if not, um, I'm gonna go ahead and add it to the DOM. So, will be a part of that if block cool so I I also need to attach that ID to this DOM unit so that I can refer it later um, and I can do that by just specifying uh, the attribute on it so I can just call set attribute say that I want this ID to be a part of the element that I've created and this will ensure that every time um, this component gets remounted um, it will first check if there's there's a DOM uh, called DOM with the ID WTGS tooltip present in the in the body if not it, it will create it so we can we can test this by just doing a refresh here and see if things are working okay I think I need to start the server first Now this will ensure that I'm, I don't overpopulate the DOM with all the divs on every refresh or every mount of the tooltip component. And all right, so you can see that there is WTJS tooltip. There's only one element in the DOM and I can go ahead and add one more DOM unit here. Now you should see that there will still be uh, just one element with WTJS tooltip in the DOM. So let's see. Yep. Since both of them are absolutely pushing, they are overlapping to each other. So I, I think that's, that's pretty good. Um, now the next step for us is to figure out the API for our tooltip component.